Uh, my colleagues, in recent days, Americans of every faith and political persuasion have mobilized in, a, in objection to a rule put for, forward by the Obama administration that constitutes an unambiguous attack on religious freedom in our country. Uh, this rule would require faith-based employers, including Catholic charities, schools, universities, and hospitals, to provide services they believe are immoral. Uh, those services include sterilization, abortion, inducing drugs, and devices, and con contraception. In imposing this requirement, the federal government has drifted dangerously beyond its constitutional boundaries, encroaching on religious freedom in a manner that affects millions of Americans and harms some of our nation's most vital institutions. If the President does not reverse the Department's attack on religious freedom, then the Congress, acting on behalf of the American people and the Constitution that we're sworn to uphold and defend, must. Uh, the House will approach this matter fairly and deliberately uh, through regular order and appropriate legislative channels. Because it has primary jurisdiction on the issues involved, the Energy and Commerce Committee is taking the lead on the legislative process that will be necessary to enact an effective and appropriate solution. Chairman Upton convened a hearing la late last year and began laying the groundwork for legislative action when this flawed rule was first proposed. And I welcome his efforts to consider all possible options as his committee uh, proceeds with its efforts. This attack by the federal government on religious freedom in our country must not stand and will not stand. I yield back. Gentleman yields back for what purposes?